On the 13th of April 1943, Berlin Radio announced that it had found a ditch 28 meters long and 16 meters wide in which the bodies of 3,000 Polish officers were piled up in 12 layers. As more ditches were found, the body count increased. An intelligence officer working for Army Group Center, Rudolf von Gerstow, may have been the first German officer to respond to rumors of the graves, and he responded to this many weeks earlier. Indeed, in March 1943, after his initial suspicions were raised, he was in Berlin and he attempted to assassinate Hitler. It's not known when the Nazi authorities for certain found out about the graves. Now, my opinion, and this is just my theory, is that it was probably in the late autumn of 1942, although the hard ground may have prevented digging. The Nazis had already found atrocities committed by the Soviets only a few days after the invasion of the Soviet Union, for example. Bodies from a mass shooting were found in a prison in Lvov. I think that this is the reason why the Nazis decided to dig up and burn their own victims at Treblinka, Sobibor and Belzhets. Although, of course, they had been burning the victims at Helmno nad Nerem and had planned crematoria for Auschwitz-Birkenau. Not only that, but victims were dug up and burnt later throughout Europe. The massive shootings committed by the Einsatzgruppen in the occupied Soviet Union were normally just slung into a ditch if they weren't already shot in the ditch and then covered over. These people were, or the corpses of these people, were dug up and burnt in pyres. Goebbels recognized later in the year that the Soviets would be doing their best to find as many mass graves as possible to present to the world, and he also knew that there was no shortage of them. He also, I'm certain, realized that the Soviets were going to continue advancing. So the release of the information on the Katyn massacre, I believe, was actually chosen carefully. An announcement like this may not have been needed as long as the Nazis thought that they could still win the war. In April 1943, the best that they could hope for was some kind of a draw, and I believe that overtures for a separate peace had not found common ground. What we need to remember is that there had been Stalingrad, which had been a major Nazi defeat, but that had been quickly followed by the counter-offensive, which had led to the recapture of uh, Kharkov in March 1943, which had been a major Soviet defeat. So it was more or less a stalemate on the Eastern Front, but not so in North Africa. There, the situation for the Nazis was desperate and clearly the end was close. Therefore, a move to split the Allies was needed. Now, what we need to think is this. This is a dreadful moral quandary for the Western Allies and especially for the Poles. How should they react? After all, Nazi Germany now occupied all of Poland. But the Soviet Union, theoretically an ally, had murdered thousands of Polish officers and indeed other Polish civilians. Now this has become a theoretical question and I don't know what the answer is and that's profiting from the benefit of nearly 80 years hindsight. So what do you think should uh, have happened? 
Should the Western allies have broken off all contact with the Soviet Union? Should they have asked for an international investigation? In fact, that is what happened. Or should they have just pretended that nothing was wrong? Write down your comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting.